Sometimes these trees are the hardest ones to get out because they are um, smaller than the other trees and they get hung up and we have to use the horses to actually pull them down like that last tree that we just brought out. And, and tell a little bit more. I missed the first part. Of yeah, we're, we're going up in the, yeah, we're going up in the woods to uh, to do some restorative forestry and restorative forestry is based on imitating nature and taking the worst trees first. And the worst trees in this situation are already standing dead. Uh, but they they still have sound enough material in them that they that it's good fuel wood, a good firewood. And we're going to uh, go pick the ones out that are standing dead and, uh, and fall them uh, uh, without harming what we want to leave to grow in the future and use the horses to extract them without rubbing or damaging any of the trees that, are, that we're leaving for the future. Uh, and that's, that's what restorative forestry basically is. Uh, some, all the trees don't grow to a full life and the trees have different life expectancy and they play different roles in the ecosystem of the forest. And, some of these trees have done their job and their role and they're now dying and instead of letting them just fall over and rot in the forest floor, we're going to extract them and uh, use them to, to keep ourselves warm here this winter. Um, and, and well, it's a beautiful day for being in the woods. Oh, it is. Else. Look at this. It's a wonderful uh, peak fall foliage. There's, there's every color imaginable uh, in the forest. Uh, the, all of the light is exquisite. And, uh, just uh, shows up these uh, these wonderful colors, and um, you know, so it's a great time of the year to be here. It's cool enough that you can uh, work hard without sweating, and and cool enough that the horses can work hard. And the air is fresh, and everything, all the animals feel good. Uh, all the all the horses feel good, and, and uh, as you can see, we just go right up across the hillside, right through the trees. Come up, come up. I didn't realize how beautiful it was in here when some of the junk gets cleared out. It's oh, it's, really it is pretty. Floor, uh, That's wood. right. We, we can restore it all. Our goal with restorative forestry is to have all of our, uh, our landowners and visitors never see the forest the same again. Once they realize that you can come in and take the junk out and the other trees grow bigger and faster, uh, then, then every, everybody uh, has a whole different vision of, of the forest everywhere. Ooh. They see that all forests could be restored. You just can't go in and take the best and leave the rest. You have to, you have to leave the best trees to grow as old as possible and and provide seedlings for the regeneration from in the holes that you create when you take the old trees out. And it's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but it definitely uh, uh, improves the forest rapidly. Our position is that the the value of the ecological services of the forest are so great and unaccounted for at this point that uh, that one day the future will recognize uh, uh, the value for the common good of a healthy vigorous growing forest uh, a mature growing forest and uh, and at that point the value of the services of the folks that provide uh, the enhancement of that condition uh, will be will be worth more it's hard to make a living doing the right thing in the forest now and just like it's hard to make a living doing the right thing in natural resources anywhere okay